Hi, my name is Ricardo Guzmani. I work at a community health center in southwest Detroit. One of the things that hasn't been talked about today is the issue of FQHCs and the provision of these services, the relationship between them with the state and the federal government. Um, I just want to make sure that we don't lose that focus. Our center chairs is a community health and social services center located in southwest Detroit. We're one of five organization, FQAC organizations, only uh, in, in the Detroit area. <clears throat> I should say in the city of Detroit, not the Detroit area. There's only one or two lookalikes. I see Herb Smitherman here. Uh, Herb runs one of them. Um, we, in Wisconsin and Michigan, FQHCs, I mean, we're, we're not in the numbers that we need to be to see to provide the preventive services that everybody's been talking about. And I, I guess I don't want to uh, lose that vision because I think your question was, where is it and how is it that we're going to try to effectuate this kind of change, this, this particular change, and I think it's going to be in our particular case with FQHCs, with our national organization, the National Association of Community Health Center, as well as the Michigan Primary Care Association and the Wisconsin Primary Care Association. Those are the people that are going to put forward the issues related to the folks that we see because our mission is to provide services to the uninsured and underinsured. That's who we see. That's what we do. We try to keep people out of the emergency room, number one. And number two, we've shown through studies that we save money. We save states money. We save Medicaid money. We save the insurance company's money. So in, in kind of closing, that, that's, that's the way we're going to look at it. And I see there are a couple other FUSC organizations that are here. And I'm hoping that the Obama administration will continue to support community health centers as well as support the infrastructure of community health centers because we've just gone through eight years of growing community health centers, but nobody's looked at the organizations like ours who have been in existence since 1970 who are in buildings that are falling apart, who have an infrastructure problem that there was no money there for loans, there was no money there for grants. And we're seeing that now with the stimulus package. Exactly. That was an important part of the Recovery Act. Exactly. Great.